Finally, we're on to video number five. This is going to be joint injection techniques. We're going to be going over three different approaches for injecting into the knee. Uh, we're going to start with the medial retropatellar approach. Uh, certainly, this is all for demonstration purposes. We're going to be using uh, blunted needles today, so we want to make sure that uh, as you're doing this, you're following universal precautions, making sure that you're certainly uh, using sterile technique for uh, your injections um, and not using blunted needles like we are today. For the approach to get into the medial aspect of the knee, the approach for getting in, you're using the medial retropatellar. So as you define the superior and inferior poles of the kneecap, you put a little bit of traction onto the skin, define the mid part of the medial patella, and then define that medial sulcus. And in that mid portion is where you're going to mark your skin. And again, I'm just using a, a pen without the point out. We try not to use ink uh, because you can tattoo the skin as you pass your needle tip through that. And as I kind of have my point there, then I would go through and sterilize the skin. We would put the little bit of traction on it first because then as we retract the skin, that point moves up to exactly where I want to go. I then use my needle with uh, whatever my injectate is going to be for the procedure. The approach is going to be perpendicular to the plane of the foot. And so as I kind of have my needle set up perpendicular, I'm going to kind of approach that mid portion of the kneecap uh, in that same plane. You then advance the needle roughly about a centimeter or until you feel the pop of the capsule. You then adjust the needle so that you're going to drop the syringe or adjust the tip of the needle superiorly, uh, maybe 10, 15 degrees, and then advance another one or two centimeters. At that point, you can aspirate your syringe, making sure that you're not in some uh, blood vessel, and then you can go ahead and uh, plunge the syringe to inject whatever injectate you're using. At that point, you can then withdraw your syringe, clean off the skin, and put a sterile bandage on. And that's your medial retropatellar approach for knee injection. All right, our next injection that we're going to demonstrate is the superior lateral approach into the knee. Similar to the medial retropatellar, uh, you're first going to mark your site. If you can define the margins of the patella, you find your superior lateral pull. Roughly two finger breaths superior, two finger breaths lateral is going to be your entry point. So you essentially mark that. You then go ahead and clean the skin. That's going to be where your needle is going to enter. And your angle is going to be kind of going towards medial femoral condyle. This is, while this isn't my favorite approach for injections, this is probably going to be your preferred approach for knee aspirations. And it's going to be a little bit easier as they're going to have kind of a large effusion in this area. So again, two finger breaths superior, two finger breaths lateral, aiming towards the medial femoral condyle. The needle enters. And again, whether this is an aspiration or injection, you're going to withdraw to aspirate fluid or uh, plunge the needle to inject your injectate and then withdraw your needle, clean the area, and apply your sterile bandage. And that's your superior lateral approach for knee injection. All right, finally, we're going to be doing the inferior lateral approach to get into the knee joint. Uh, there's two sulci on either side of the patellar tendon. And while certainly you can get into either one, it's generally considered a little bit less painful to get into the inferior lateral approach. Uh, so depending on your patient, if they tend to have more osteophytic change or they have more medial or lateral compartment, you may end up uh, going on one side versus the other. But for this demonstration, we're going to be using the inferior lateral approach. And just like before, you can use your, your pen without uh, tip out uh, to create a, a little divot. And then again, you're going to clean the skin. And now uh, your angle of approach is going to be essentially aiming for the center of the knee joint. You can essentially hub the needle at this point, but you want to make sure that you aspirate uh, to ensure that you're not in, into uh, some artery. And then you can go ahead and plunge the needle to inject your uh, injectate at that point. You can go ahead and withdraw the needle, clean the skin, and apply a sterile bandage. Uh, and that covers the inferior lateral approach to knee injections. This concludes our video series on the knee examination. We hope that you all have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for our next one. We'll see you then. Thank you.